Hello, it's me Harry and welcome to this episode of Film Talk and today we are talking about prop weapons basically where you can get them from um, I basically had to make them look good okay um, so yes the subject is going to be weapon talk so basically I'm going to be showing you a few prop weapons that I have they're not real obviously because of the word prop so, my first exhibit, one sec, bottom the other one, so notice there's one missing there, Get back a sec. You know what, never mind, it's not really that important. Oh yeah, found it. First exhibit is this. This was a toy gun I got off Amazon. It's a cap gun, it's made out of weapon. Look, you can put caps in it, but this one don't really shoot well. So there's number one. Number two. This thing. This I got from Smiths for wait for for six, five or six quid. I can't remember. It's a long time ago. It's made out of plastic. But on camera, it should look fine if you spray paint it. And obviously, remove the batteries. Exhibit. One sec. Put that there. Exhibit number three. We got this Tommy gun. As you can see. I drew it in permanent marker, but look. Yeah, you can see the. You have to do that with the thing because my brother broke the trigger on this. I got this when I was on holiday at a place. Can't remember which one it was. And this cost about barber. Still small permanent marker. Again, I drew this like over a year ago. But if you get one, make sure your youngers do not. Make sure your younger brothers do not break the break it and if you spray paint it it could look real. Number four a baseball bat. This is a real baseball bat you can see it says home run. I got this for like 20 quid off from Argos. You better come here. I'll break your legs. Yeah it's Pretty good, but obviously, do not go chasing after people with one of these, it's dangerous. Okay, number five Taser. I've got a, um, a cartridge here, look, and obviously, the wires hit there. are over here. The wires are over here. I made this um, a year ago. It looks quite effective. I'll be using it definitely for my movie. Okay. And last but not least, this. A sword. As you can see, it's not very big. It looks more like a knife. So, if you do that, so I'm going like this. As you can see, it's not very big compared to me. It's more of a knife, as I said. From a shade, but this does look real. Just spit out fake blood, but obviously, my just don't cut you. This is actually a training one made out of wood. And I've got this for, I've actually got two of them. Each of them cost, I think, eight quid. They are used for training in martial arts classes. It's basically, but obviously, you do not definitely go taking this out in the streets unless you're filming, because then, um, because then basically, you know what? 
Okay, now going to talk safety about these. Um, they're not real, apart from the baseball bat. Um, they won't, they don't work, but obviously do not carry them around in the streets, otherwise you could get the police called on you and you can get shot. Because that does happen in the UK as well. You will get shot for carrying weaponry. That's only if they need to, but a good way to do this in the streets is obviously, I think, well, I don't know if it's for sure, but if you know, it would be useful for to, to tell me in the, in the comment section below what to do, because I do not want the police called on me the day I'm shooting in, well, downtown. Well, it's not really downtown, it's a place called Greenwich. But obviously, um, this is it from Film Talk today. Remember, like this video, share this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, um, Google+, anywhere. Also, favourite this video, co comment in the links below what you want me to talk about next and I will sh talk about it. This is it from Film Talk, from me, Harry Carey. Until the next episode, goodbye.